Hello, in this video I'll be showing you the easiest way that I could find uh, how to create a GIF that plays when you hover over it. So here I have two different examples. You can see when I hover out, it fades back to the original frame and starts over. So let's take a look at how this works. We'll drop into Webflow and minimize me. And we're going to just break this down element by element. Each of these GIFs is wrapped in a parent element which has position relative. Then I have my original GIF. I'm just gonna alternate. I'm gonna say GIF and then I'm gonna say GIF. And layered on top of that is the first frame, which I set to opacity zero on hover, just like that. You'll notice that it doesn't restart each time I hover. That is being affected by some JavaScript, which is here in the footer of the page, right here. So you just copy paste that into your site, you're good to go. Two more important things you need to know on this page is that the parent element, which contains the two, has an attribute of data gif hover equals one, where one is kind of the ID of this, uh, this pairing. So there's a hover trigger. And then if I click inside to the original actual gif, then it has a data dash gif equals one because they both have one, they are tied together through the JavaScript. Same thing down here, I have this parent element, I have the hover trigger, if I click down, then I have data-gif equals two. I also wanna show you how I'm getting this first frame. Once you download your GIF, if you open it up in whatever native image file editing software you have, I'm here in preview, you're able to just click and export the first frame. And you just save that to your downloads and then drag it into Webflow. If you're pulling your file from a site like uh, Jiffy, you can just save image as, give it a name and save that, and then open it from there. With all of that said, I think you know everything you need to know. One thing to consider uh, for like especially large files is that if you use a video instead, it can be a lot smaller. So here's an example where my uh, Rickroll GIF is 1.5 megabytes, but the video version, the same number of frames and size, is only 97 kilobytes. The JavaScript isn't gonna work if you do the video, but it could be worth it to save on the file size. And just to reiterate, you'll notice here that there's a parent element and then the actual animated file and then my static first frame. That's everything. If you have any questions about this process or have any suggestions, feel free to leave a comment in the video and I'll be sure to reply. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye-bye.